y'all rigs here uh, we're back rigged indoors and we are checking out a brand new truck from uh, exo froggy and guess what look over there he's in here with me so frog uh this this, this truck's not even released yet what's up with that uh well most of the stuff i'm put on the workshop like isn't going to be released for a while because they're all work in progresses until they get released. When, whenever I release it, it's, it's pretty much at its final point with me. Now, we were running around with it yesterday, and I have to tell you, this truck's a beast. I was quite impressed with it, and I can't wait to see what it does on this map. Uh, oh, yes. Pierce Cove is like one of my favorite maps to actually check vehicles out. Like, I'm kind of shocked I haven't showed it on the channel yet. And I'm actually going to be running uh, this video as well as one that's going to air before this. Uh, running that the uh, classic Suburban I drove the other day. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I don't know if you know this map or if any of the viewers do, but uh, it's kind of sketchy. And they're going to know that uh, because of the video I'm airing before this one. Uh, right away, we got a bridge that we're going to tackle, and I, I'm going to tell you right away, you got to be very careful. You, you cannot go overboard on that bridge, otherwise you will get caught up on it, and I don't even think a winch will save you. <laughs> well, it's going to be a very exciting video. So, yeah, oh yeah, without further ado, why don't we just hit that trail? I'll follow you. Alrighty. Now, how do you get this much stuff on that little antenna? Uh, you know, logistics. Repair points, fuel. <laughs> I mean, in the end, it'll be a lot less than it has now. But for testing purposes, it's good to go until I get more add-ons at it. Fair enough. So why? Uh, oh no! Oh no! See what I mean? <laughs> you see what I mean? Already going over. <laughs> Oh. I was gonna go ahead and rescue that to the garage. <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> Next time I'll just have to save you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you notice, I changed the grill color as well, or like the, uh, I get like the frame grill color. Yeah. I think it pops more with that light gray on there. I wonder if uh, driving per first person here helps. I don't think so. Uh, a little, little bit sketchier. Oh, I'm off again. <laughs> <laughs> I saved it. Yeah, she's she's a wide girl. <laughs> I'll probably have to scale it down a little bit because uh, it is a little bit bigger than than most of the uh, other square bodies, like uh, spun in them squares. It's a little bit bigger than they are. Oh, God. Yeah, there I go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tandem. <laughs> All right, you got the uh, electronic winch. I was going to say, why don't you give it a shot? Oh. Yeah, the only way I have the electric winch is if I start the session, but even then, it's it's uh, a little iffy nowadays when it comes to it. Uh, I thought we just uh, cheat here. There is a way to uh, do that, I think. Hmm, just, uh, we just gotta keep it straight on the bridge. <laughs> Oh yeah, well she is a submarine. Although I think this water over here is probably gonna be a bit fast. Well, it's low enough. Oh yeah. Over here might get uh, a little sketchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right there you can tell it's not very deep, but oh, okay. Oh, now this truck really does That's not like those rocks. Yeah, I almost fell off the bridge again. But I yeah. saved it. Oh. It's all good. Oh, never mind. I almost Cancel needed that, that winch. <laughs> yeah. Alright, he'll climb.
Let's get it. Like I haven't even taken it out of automatic and just climbing. Oh, see, I always run in just low three when I go trail riding. Like if I need to get faster, I'll usually bump it up. But I, don't know. I just like to run in low three. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I'd probably pick up less damage. I mean, I don't want to be like TP, you know what I mean? Oh, well, well, you know, you'd have to run it in high gear. And, I mean, well, yeah, this truck does have a little bit of a good get up and go in that high gear. Well, no, he just goes uh, full tilt. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, if, if he, high gear doesn't go quick enough, he just puts it in automatic. And... <laughs> yeah, see, he'll be surprised when uh, that mega truck gets released. Because yeah. he's going to be expecting to drive it one way, and it's just not going to drive that way for him. Now, there's a decent amount of grip on these tires, and most people can't even climb right where I just went up. <laughs> believe it or not. Nice. Yeah, I kind of bumped friction up a little bit, but... Oh, yeah. They're tractor tires, you know? Ooh, Jesus. Oh, God. Uh, don't, don't, uh, mess up the, uh, antenna there. It kind of goes jank when it gets damaged with your simulation all the way up. All right, okay. I'm looking at mine right now, and it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's definitely looking jank there. <laughs> like, that, that damage setting that the game does is just ugly. One thing I noticed is most of your trucks are, you know, Dodge or Dodge related. Why Chevy for this one? Uh, well, I, I don't, uh, I'm not a truck snob. I like all trucks, you know. Like, if, as far as real life goes, if it runs, I'll drive it. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Now, like I said in one of my videos, I'll drive anything as long as it ain't a Ford. I prefer to return <laughs> in the vehicle, not on foot. Yeah, you know, don't want to be found off-road dead. <laughs> exactly. Like, that had me rolling. It was like early morning and I was watching that video and he said that and I just started dying of laughter. Because <laughs> it's honestly really true. Like, I, I've honestly driven a Ford once off-road and the battery cable broke. Wow. Yeah. It, in a brand new truck, the battery cable broke from not even really like going off-road like we are now. Like, I was in a gravel field. I did a donut. Huh. And parked it, turned it off. He went to turn it back on, and the battery cable was snapped. Like, how? how the logistics of that happening. <laughs> like, that's why you don't drive a Ford. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? You know, low well, three. Hey, <laughs> yeah, low three on this truck is fantastic. Oh, yeah. I, I like to have a decent amount of speed in low gear, but not uh, insane. Because I think uh, it probably goes like 15 or 20 kilometers an hour, which is like, I don't know, something like 10 miles. I'm not very right. good with uh Having a little bit of trouble here. <laughs> I can see that. Got to work it back and forth and she'll go. You can always try dropping it down to low two. Yeah, I tried that. There we go. For the high end of low two. Yeah. Uh, how you doing back there? Uh, not too bad. I just threw it down into low one, right between low one and low two. She got some grip. Oh yeah, she did. Whoa, oh, boy. I, I gotta go turn my my simulation down. I can't deal with that damage. <laughs> like, it just looks so ugly. <laughs> now, so the sidewalls, wow, that flex, man. Holy oh, yeah. crap. I was gonna say, the sidewalls aren't doing much, but to be honest with you, with that amount of flex, the, the wheels just bend. Right. And it doesn't have too much flex either because the tires don't really clip through the fenders or anything. Yeah. It's 
so it makes it makes getting flex shots good. I just have to change the actual dampeners because they're a little uh, a little jank. They bend in the middle of them. I kind of messed the skinning up on them a little bit there. Yeah. Oh wow. Wasn't expecting to take any damage on that. Right. I'm I'm running at like three hundred and eight damage right now. Oh, I'm only at one ninety four. Oh okay. Yeah, I think it's from me slamming my back end into a rock earlier. But I really enjoy this uh this map just for the trails on it. It's a very well put together map. I got I've, I've driven on fierce trails before. I just hadn't came out here. Yeah. No, I find this map to be quite realistic. Oh, yeah. It really is. Oh, my back bumper is starting to take some good damage. <laughs> Gotta have to start watching that antenna. Yeah. Oh, submarine time. And one thing this track I think needs is a snorkel. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I should uh, put an add on for that one. I just gotta either model one out or find a decent one on SketchUp. I might just go for modeling it out. And the motor sounds in this thing are just. Oh, yeah, where'd you get that motor sound from? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's off of the Ubi site. There's Spin Tires Bureau sounds. Just old school stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like the only place I know of to get sounds from. Like, I, I tried Googling it. I didn't really come up with anything. It just kept taking me to YouTube links. Long angle of attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I thought we were gonna have to back it up a little bit. Oh, I got a uh, bush hanging off my bumper now. <laughs> my bumper got bush. Spirits. Yeah, that right, eh? Just like you know, damaging your tires. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see this truck in its final state. Oh, me neither, honestly. I mean, Square Body Chevy, they're my favorite truck ever. Oh, yeah. Like, my dad used to have an old 77 GMC Stepside. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this was the closest I could find to it. Like, the, there's just not very many good models. Like, I might wind up just buying one at some point, but... For now, I got this one. I might model a step side out for it. Okay. Now, my favorite uh, square body Chevy I've seen in the spin tires world, or universe, if you will. Uh, I can't remember who made the mod, and I'm actually going to do a video on it. It's in the original spin tires. It's it just one heck of a square body. They, they did everything right. Right. It might be one of uh, Spun or Nick's vehicles. No, it was neither of theirs. I uh, know. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm curious as to which one it is, then. Because, like, when it comes to... Oh, it could be, uh... What's his name again? Um... Uh, he models everything out himself. Um... Yeah, I can't remember the name offhand. Oh, uh... Yeah, can't... I can't either. It, it's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, careful right here. <laughs> There's a tree on the uh, right side of the trail and you will pick it up and drag it so just go wide around it oh, i'm just gonna go for I've it i've grabbed that a few times <laughs> this thing loves mud too like it it properly drives through the mud for these tractor tires oh yeah we're, we'll hit some mud pretty soon here 
Well, I mean, back there was a little bit of mud. Not too much, but a little bit. Yeah, she just picks up that mud and just throws it every which direction. Oh, yeah. And I'm just back here in low two. Just low RPM in this shit. <laughs> Bit of a tight corner there. Yeah, just a little bit. Now, I wonder if I can collect it right up on this rock here. Nope, ain't Don't happening. Ain't happening. <laughs> Going around it. Oh, my bad. You trying to push me here? No, I'm trying to climb up on the rock. <laughs> there yeah, we go. This is the big test. It really is. Oh, slide down a little bit. It's all about the angle of attack here, and you're kind of in my way. Yeah, I was going to try to climb the rock, but when it started sliding, might as well just come uh, back here. <laughs> I was trying to be that one guy at the trail, you know, just climbs around everybody. Come on. Oh, this chick might have just met its match. Yeah, I honestly like the way it handles on rocks, you know, because, I mean, they're tractor tires. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, it didn't have any problems before this. Well, it just depends on the rocks. Oh, there you go. Nope, so close. Because these ones are, uh, I, yeah, these are sponge rocks. So they've got realistic uh, friction levels on them. So they actually act as real rocks. Like the, honestly, I don't know about the other one. The other ones might still be theirs. Is a, just when it comes to like getting like most of your tires on the rocks, hey. that's when the game. Oh, is, here's a screenshot. Freak out a little bit on there. Almost. See if I can rebalance this here. Oh, there you Ooh. go. Oh, you got up with that winching, didn't you? Yeah, I just drove right on through, man. How, I didn't know you, you were having so much trouble. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it was that angle of attack. Oh, well then, you're uh, glitching out for me going into a shadow over through that. Yeah. That was weird. I mean, when I was testing this truck out, on this mat to see if it would handle all right. I got up that just fine. Ah, yeah, it's that angle. Yeah. Cause I went with a wider turn into it and I just kind of drove right on up it. <coughs> That's what I love about spin tires. Like <laughs> the off-roading is, you know, decently realistic enough to where like what line you take through a trail actually matters oh yeah now i haven't been further than uh going under that tree with this truck on this map <laughs> so i have no idea what's up in store i've uh been, only been on this particular trail, I think, twice. All right. So we're in for some surprises. Oh, nice, up and over. Although, try taking the rocks on the uh, left there. Oh, on the left. I had to go right just to uh, yeah. get up on the rock because I was pushing up onto my front bumper. Well done. Oh, yeah. A lot of rocks on this trail. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, and this is like the for real, like outside of the little modding group that I'm in and you, like the square body is pretty much like, well, and a friend of mine corn fed, but like the this is pretty much the first look at this truck. Oh yeah. And I can't say enough, I can't wait for the final release. I really oh, can't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what else are you gonna do to it? What kind of add-ons are you gonna throw on? Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking a bed cap at least, and I don't know, maybe some other stuff. Maybe a diesel version of it. With some smokestacks. Different hey, motor hey. noises, of course. Maybe a few color options? Well, oh yeah, of course color options. <laughs> You gotta do a, a blue and white just for me. Oh yeah. What parts you want white on it? Because <laughs> oh, in that no. version of it, I can make sure to uh, swap textures around on it for different parts. Hey. It's not too hard to separate the parts out for it. Had to do it to the trim. Now that I, the trim is actually all black. Uh, actually, here's one maybe you can answer for me. Uh, back in the original spin tires, you'd be able to change out your wheels. How come that option isn't around as mud runner? Oh, I honestly don't know. Like that's just like the mud runner does. I never really looked into that because I, I wasn't modding when the spin tires came yeah, out. Yeah, fair enough. Because I was playing the original, like the very first spin tires demo that you could only get on the UV website. Oh, yeah. Uh, before their Kickstarter or any of that. Okay. And then when they came out with their dev demo, the laptop I had at the time was just too much of a potato to run it. Okay. And then I just hadn't really got back into computer gaming until recently a few months ago nice well, wait you're telling me all those like, mods have just come out in the last yeah. couple of months oh well all these trucks are just coming out really in the last few weeks well about actually it's been about a month it's that just is insane. at the time i don't sleep so <laughs> when i don't sleep i just mess with trucks and <laughs> mess with maps yeah sounds like me too Except I'm messing with other people's maps and trucks. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, when I first started playing Mud Runner, like for the first little bit, I was just driving around, and then I start I got into the map making, and then just recently I finally was able to get help with the you know modding of the trucks, because YouTube videos just don't help at all for modding with trucks, except for Stetsons, but he doesn't really teach you about you know, making, like, the truck itself. He more focuses on getting something in-game. Uh-oh. Having a little trouble? Oh, uh, no, I got it. <laughs> it's all about that angle of attack. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, that's 116 damage. <laughs> Yeah, what are you up to? I got 432. Uh, 591. But I clipped that tree back there. <laughs> so, that's what gave me uh, gave me the more damage. So it's okay. We got uh, you know 3,000 repair in the antenna. I don't know how you get that. I don't know how you get all that stuff in that tiny little antenna. I don't know, man. It's just magic, you know? It's uh, it's like a magician's hat back there. Uh, it's something I always hear from you spend time is where people put repair points and garage points and fuel. Like, who puts yeah, fuel I mean, in an LED than... bar, you know? Yeah, but, you know, it's better than not having it. Let alone garage points. <laughs> right. Well, which this has four of them stuffed back there, too. Woo. I went all the way up on top of the rocks there. And I'm just taking damage to my tires. Like. Yeah, I'm actually uh, going to skip the night here. Or, no, I can't do that in multiplayer. I yeah, remember. We, yeah. If I had hosted the lobby we, and the dev tools had worked, I I would have been able to just change it. But Oh, yeah. You got I don't really mind that. nighttime. Yeah, I don't really mind nighttime that much and spin tires. Like, sometimes I specifically just go driving at night. 
Yeah. Why most people have issues with it, to be honest. It's like one of my favorite parts of it. Yeah, At man. least uh, when you have dev tools working, because then you can see your friend's lights. Yeah, I always find driving without the lights is easier. Uh, well, in the original spin tires, most definitely, because it just darkened everything else. But yeah. I mean, nowadays, it's it, as long as the person who made the truck didn't put like, you know, super bright lights on it or anything, yeah. it's not too bad driving with lights on. Like these ones, which are just Banks's lights, uh, like the say the color and stuff he uses, like and the brightness, like they're not too bright at all. Yeah, you know, I have to say, the interior very well done. Yeah, that came with the mod, <laughs> or came with the model. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to change. I just had to move a few things, like because now you can't see the front grill through the. Uh, Inside. Go slow and sand horn. <laughs> Go through and sound horn. Yeah, there's a sign up here that says that. Oh. <laughs> I had to get my cat off of my desk. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I see it. That's crazy. Oh, wow. This is... I've never been this far on this trail. Well, this is a nice. Very sketchy. This, this is a proper, like, ATV trail. We aren't, yeah, I'm glad we aren't in hardcore mode because we probably would have slid off of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh. You uh, good? Nope. I think I can get it though. Oh god. Wait a minute. Now that's what I call a self rescue. <laughs> yeah, I kind of started sliding too, but I went into the tree. Hold on. Yeah, this, oh mm. wow. I just floored it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I did. Out. <laughs> uh, when that joke makes oh, sense. Oh wow, picking up the damage know. in here now. Oh, yeah, it's all those small rocks. Yeah. That's why half the time well, I don't even bother using one thing them. I'm, yeah, one thing I'm happy about with this map is they didn't go overboard with the amount of small rocks, you know? Yeah. Some maps are just everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> well, that, to me, I just see laziness when it's like, a whole trail full of nothing but small rocks and there's none of like the bigger rocks placed yeah. i just see that as like laziness yeah we I mean, uh, it's cool to have like sections of it well when you make a whole trail dedicated to it it's a bit we made it to the garage <laughs> awesome now drop that antenna off man they said it's worth four garage points <laughs> wow. Oh, I think there's no better oh, wow. place to end it. And actually, one of our favorite things about this map is that nice flag we got sitting behind us there. Nice. The Canadian flag. Nobody believes that I'm from Canada. Oh, really? <laughs> believe it I or not. I did not expect Canada. You ever go down to the Toonies? <laughs> ever go down where? <laughs> to the Toonies. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think this is the best place to end it for uh, for now. And I, I can't wait to see more of this trip. Can't to see, wait to see where it's going to go. Maybe I'll uh, give these guys some updates here and there. And uh, we'll definitely uh, check out the finished product uh, together, I think. So thanks for joining me today, uh, Frog. Oh yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Anytime, anytime. I think you just made a lot of people happy. I, a lot of the people that have been uh, commenting on my videos and even during the live chat a few times, they all wanted uh, a collaboration here. So I think if we hit the number that I mentioned in the video that came before this one on this map, uh, well, they're gonna be uh, quite happy.
Right. So slam that like button and subscribe. Exactly. Well, I will uh, catch you later, Frog. Uh, thanks again. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. <laughs>